What's up, pack members? It's your Warrior Spirit Alf here, and welcome to our next Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Let's Play episode. In the last episode, we pretty much returned to the Sealed Temple, and we just defeated the Imprisoned. Now, Granny here says as that she would not be surprised if the Imprisoned were to escape again. And she's also mentioned that this right here is the Gate of Time, and a Skyward Strike would be enough, but the sword that we have does not have enough power to awaken it, and she says, seek the three sacred flames, flames to push or to forge our blade and make it stronger, and we'll do just that, but first, I think Phi wants to talk to us. The bout of the goddess, based on my projection, this is likely the song that Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. Yep, pretty straightforward. So, uh, we're pretty much now going to come out here. And, Chris, this episode, I don't think we're actually going to move on with the main quest. I think we're actually just going to do a little bit of side quest completion. But first things first. Oh, wait. Great Goron, I found some. Found what? Look, there's butterflies that respond to beautiful tongues that are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm? Mm hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if I am threatened to roll only down a hill. What? What can we do? Well, pretty much, this is a little bit of a hint for what else we've done in this game, so we're going to have to take our harp and strum it a little. And, well, we have one of these. That's not really what I thought it was, but oh well. Boing oing. That is it. One of the talking stuff actors the Agent Tech spoke of. There is no mistaking it. Oh, we got an ornamental skull. Nice. Alright, so, first with that out of the way, we're now going to push head to the sky real quick. I say real quick, it's actually where we need to go next. So, yep, pretty much last episode we was mainly all about finding the imprisoned. So, yep. And overall, I don't think the imprisoned is really that difficult of a boss fight. And it's like I said in the last episode, I think between Moldrock and the Imprisoned, I think the Imprisoned actually is probably the easiest boss in the game. Because, like, Moldrock, you know, like, you know, Moldrock had actual attacks while the Imprisoned, the only thing that could really do damage to you is if he stomped on you or, or, you know, like, you got caught in his, like, shockwaves. It's... And there's, in fact, let's actually stop by Bill's Air Shop real quick while we're here. Let's see if I can make it. I'm getting too far. I need to come closer. If you have anything new that I can use. Well, I probably don't even need to buy anything from Beetle. Let's see. Well, he has a lot of upgrades and pouch upgrades, but... Doesn't seem much like... Like anything I can use. So, yep. Leap on down. Going into the bazaar. And 
And yes, he has it in stock. Wonderful. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much talk about it. So pretty much right here is the thing we're looking for. Aha! That's a sacred shield. And pretty much the cool thing about this shield is it defends us against fire, electricity, and something that's different about this shield rather than, you know, the other shield is this one actually regenerates its, like, damage gauge, so it pretty much repairs itself, and it says it's a little fragile, but, you know, should be much of a problem. It is very expensive, it is 500 rupees, but we're going to take it because this is a good shield. Obviously, you know, now we're actually going to move our... Now we're going to... Yeah, I, I don't care about your fortune telling. So we're going to see if we can uh, forge anything here. Let's see if we can actually upgrade our gear. Yeah, or at least upgrade our safety shield at all. Yeah, he's up we can, actually. Oh, no. Never mind. See, we need dust strokes, and we can't get those quite yet, so, yeah. We have to bail. Is there anything else that we can actually use? No. Can't use that. Don't have hornet larvae. Larva, sorry. That needs dust strokes. We don't have that. What's this? Yeah, I mean, we could use that, but I don't want to give up my blue bird feathers, so, yeah. What's this? Cancel. Alright, so first, I meant to go to the item check, actually. Yeah, let's drop off this wooden shield and. I mean, it's not like we're ever going to use these shields now that we pretty much have this. In fact, let's have to see if I can actually sell this shield. Yeah, okay. Yes, we're going to sell our iron shield too. Just because now we have the sacred shield, we don't need Eid like this, so yeah. Could buy it, but I don't really use bombs that much, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, with this. Oh yeah, that's just for uh. Like I almost never use my slingshot anymore, so yeah. And I think the face that it makes, not that one, but the disappointed face, is actually probably pretty funny. I think he's a little creepy though, but you know, other than that, it's okay. Oh, hello. What do you have to say? I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently, after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the do dormitory. I tell you, it gives me, it gives even a big guy like me to creep. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's probably part of the side quest that we're not going to be doing. But, yep. I mean, we could buy another pouch upgrade. Where is B with their shop even? Well, I don't really need it at the moment, so I guess we can always pass on it for now and come back later. I mean, like, I mean keeping over 100 group beats is pretty good, and I don't have my adventure pouch actually. Um, yeah, it's good. So, Curtis, we are gonna. 
Let's go ahead and fly on over to Lumpy Pumpkin to, like, probably now we should be able to finish up the last side quest of the Lumpy Pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I am a little tired. <laughs> Or, or it's not that I'm tired, it's just late at night. Well, I mean, I say it up my late at night, it's like 9.40 p.m. The moment I'm filming this, who knows what day this will be uploaded, you know. It's, I never know, like, what days my videos are going to be uploaded, so I can say it's kind of a universal, like, term or whatever. But whatever case, let's see if there's anything in here. Nope. Not, nothing here. Okay. Now we're gonna enter the lumpy pumpkin. Mom has a speech job, and now he has to have gotten something. Oh, it's you. What should I have you work on next? Oh yeah, you got that interesting looking instrument. I got it. I've got the perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back to see me, alright? Okay. So, this is what we need to do. So, we just had to talk to Granny and defeat the imprisoned first. And then we'll be, then we'd be able to unlock this, uh... Cyrus. And then think about it, I just noticed I did not put Sacred Shoot on. Oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put the Sacred Shoot on. There we go. It's actually pretty stylish too, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever case, let's go and talk to him. Ah, you came, let me see. What was it that I wanted you to do next? Hey, what's that? That's a strange looking instrument you have there. Oh yes, you might just be surprised to hear that Keenan's actually quite the singer. It wasn't that long ago that she would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because, but she had to stop because her partner quit. Think you'd be willing to do a quick deal at Keenan? Of course. Great, that's what I want to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Customers will start waving their arms as Keena sings the song, so you can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm you should be playing. Make a customer's movements are easy for you to follow, and strum with them to stay in the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming, just make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow, and use these nice big sweeping motions to strum. When the customers stop moving, it's your chance to freestyle a little bit and play however you like. It's all about playing to the rhythm. Got it? Yes. Alright then. Hey Kina. Yes, Fire, what is it? This kid is going to accompany you while you sing. Now how it laying your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course, let's do it, kid. Alright, let's get started. Find the old man, by the way. Now, for the freestyle, we just gotta keep the rhythm. could call that playing, sort of. To tell the truth, I found it in performance a little lacking. Oh, come on, I did a good job. 
can't say it knocked my socks off, but you know, for first try, you did good enough. With this, I say we're even. You don't have to work for me anymore. Great job. You know, I'm going to buy a new shannon to replace that old one. It really fancied up the place. Considering all the hard work you put in around here, I feel like I should give you a little something. Take this. So yeah, we got we got a piece apart. Two from this place, one for breaking the chandelier and one for fixing it. Anything you wanna say, old man? I wonder if I can actually do it again. Well, are you gonna say anything else? Oh. I really wanted to do that mini game again, but oh well. Anything else you wanna say, Kina? Well, well, if you ask me, I think I did a lot better playing than they rated me. Because believe me, usually the customers do actually treat like, you know, actually cheer properly rather than just simply clapping. But you know, as long as you don't like fail, because it is possible to fail that, by the way. Wait. Then, yeah. Oh, very nice new chandelier. Wow. Anything you want to say, sir? Hey, Spirit, what do you think of this new chandelier? Let me tell you, this view set me back quite a bit. You think I spent too much on it? Don't be a wet blanket. Thanks to your hard work that I was able to buy such a stunner of a chandelier, so don't break it. Anyway, what can I do for you? If it's, if it's work you're after, I'm sure I can find some of you do. This for old time's sake. And of course I'll pay you for it this time. I'll make some money playing your harp for us, and maybe just want to... I said, yeah, let's play harp. Oh, sorry, we can't only work for performances at night. Okay. So, yeah, let's actually try again. Let's, like... I know we just did it and this episode is going to end soon, but I thought, I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and do one more hard performance. So I'll see. I feel like I could do better than what I did, because, like, I thought I did really good. Good. Right. I mean, I don't need to, but I want to. Hard. And also, if I'm ever in desperate need of rupees, rupees, let's, let's, we can always do this. I mean, I don't know how much she'll pay me, but, you know, we're going to find out. Alright, let's go. Well, what'd you think? Really? Okay. Well, I guess the customers just are not impressed with my heart playing that much. Oh well, it was worth a try. So how much do I get paid? What? Uh, okay, fine. Whatever. Well, 
if you ask me, I think my first performance was better than my second one. I know the customers weren't very impressed, but, you know, whatever works, I guess. Anyhow, we're out of time anyway, so I guess tune for the next episode and we'll properly do the story or next quest. So until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.